Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to my channel Pharmacology Medicine. Today we'll discuss about drug and medicine and the difference between drug and medicine. Then uh, we'll discuss about uh, how we can uh, get informed about drugs. What are the sources of information about drugs? And then if we get times, uh, then uh, we shall discuss about what are the important sources of drug. So at first drug and medicine what is drug the word from which the drug comes from it na its name is drug drug means dry herb it is a french word according to the world health organization the definition of drug is the drug is any substance or product that is used or intended to be used to explore or modify the physiological system or pathological state for the benefit of the recipient. So what is recipient? Recipient means everybody from the mankind uh, to the animal husbandry, any, uh, anybody that can receive the drug is called recipient. Uh, the example of recipients is vaccination. The animal husbandry get vaccine humankind or mankind uh, get vaccine the child get vaccine the adults and get vaccine uh, the uh, infant get vaccine so uh, vaccination is the one of the important example uh, for drug uh, uh, that is given to the recipient so what are the important benefits of the drug there are many many important benefits of the drug but the five important benefits are more crucial uh, that the drug help us one is treatment antibiotics are uh, example is antibiotics are used for any infection that is metronidazole is used for the MBBSs or MBB infection we use metronidazole is one of the example of treatment purpose of drug Another is control of the drug. By using some drugs, we can control some disease such as hypertension, diabetes mellitus. Uh, by using antihypertensive, we can control the hypertension. Example is etinolol can lower our blood pressure. Amlodipine may lower our blood pressure. Uh, Ramipril, lisinopril can lower our blood pressure. Uh, so another example is uh, uh, insulin or oral anti-diabetic drug can reduce our blood sugar and may control our diabetes mellitus. So these are the examples of control uh, 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 control of disease by drug. Then diagnosis. By using drug we can diagnose many diseases. By using barium meal uh, through dye we can diagnose peptic ulcer disease then prevention then prevention of disease and uh, example is vaccination by using vaccination we prevent so many communicable diseases another one is now add uh, that is one kind of benefit by using drug is alteration of the normal physiological system by using drug we can alter our normal physiological system and the example is oral contraceptive pill this oral contraceptive pill is the combination of estrogen and progesterone this estrogen inhibits the follicular stimulating hormone and this progesterone inhibits the luteinizing hormone so when they inhibit them they inhibit from rupturing the graphene follicles the follicles are not matured and these graphene follicles are not ruptured to release the ovum. So that's why no ovulation occurs and this oral contraceptive pill helps us in contraception and prevents conception. So these are the five benefits of the drug. So what is medicine? Medicine are the preparation of active substance with excipients these active substance are drug and excipients are the adding substance which are adding to a drug to give the drug stability to give the drug 
uh, to help the drug from auto breakdown and also help the drug from uh, the and also helps the drug um, to uh, from destroying by moist heat and temperature so these excipients are important thing these are the pharmacology inert substance these are adding substance which have no pharmacological effect but they are uh, adding with the drug to prevent the drug from auto breakdown uh, these excipients are binder these excipients are coloring agent these excipients are flavoring agent uh, 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 these excipients are adhesive agent so these are the uh, uh, these are, uh, so this is the excipient so what is medicine medicine is the active ingredient with uh, 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 medicines are active ex uh, one or more active ex uh, one or more active excipient with uh, sorry uh, medicines are uh, one or more drugs with excipients which have an uh, suitable form and have a proper dose and uh, with a proper leveling it is called medicine and these medicine are only used for the treatment of diseases so if we say uh, what is medicine the definition will be medicines are the uh, composition of one or more drug with excipients which have a suitable form with a specific doses form or uh, uh, with a specific doses from with proper leveling and which is only used for the treatment of the disease is called medicine so the examples of drug and examples of medicine we'll discuss now examples of drug are aspirin naproxen paracetamol uh ceprazone these are all drugs so medicine if we say tablet aspirin 75 milligram then it will be medicine if we say tablet naproxen 500 milligram that then it will be medicine so uh, why it is is medicine medicine has a suitable form uh, that is tablet aspirin has a suitable form it is a tablet and uh, 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 sometimes we use uh, 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 the proprietary name medicine are not confined to the generic name the aspirin uh, the one of the best aspirin in bangladesh uh, in uh, proprietary name we can tell it uh, tablet ego spring 75 milligram so there is a suitable form that is tablet form uh, eco spin it's a um, uh, uh, proprietary name uh, of a aspirin in bangladesh and 75 milligram and it's a definitive dose or specific dose for medicine so uh, in definition what we say all are present in tablet eco spin 75 milligram so that's why it is medicine or sometimes uh, uh, we can say uh, thiopental sodium and uh, uh, thiopental sodium has thiopental is the main drug and sodium uh, sodium is the excipient and that's why uh, it's one kind of uh, medicine and uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, some uh, added salt are there uh, sometimes so uh, another example of medicine is uh, tablet naproxen 500 mg where the uh, this, uh, formulation of the naproxen is tablet and uh, it is 500 mg it's a suitable dose and uh, the uh, and uh, it is taken by orally so this is called the medicine all drugs are medicine but uh, not all medicine are drugs so uh, uh, one of the first difference it is then uh, drug has uh, much more benefit uh, drug has uh, treatment of disease by drug uh, by using drug we can go for control of the disease uh, prophylaxis of the disease or prevention of the disease or diagnosis of the disease but medicine is only used for the treatment of the disease then uh, drugs has a generic name or non proprietary name medicine has a trade name medicine is established with trade name and uh, drug is the active substance and medicines are active substance with excipients so these are the difference of drug and medicine now how we can get informed about drug we can get informed about drug by pharmacopoeia by formulary uh, by from the textbook from medical journals and some computer based information 
so what is pharmacopoeia pharmacopoeia is a book which is written by authorized body in which the details of the drug are written and uh, 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 pharmacopoeia are revised by uh, after five years there are much uh, many countries have pharmacopoeia but bangladesh has no pharmacopoeia bangladesh follow a pharmacopoeia which is british pharmacopoeia example of pharmacopoeias are british pharmacopoeia indian pharmacopoeia uh, american pharmacopoeia uh, or sometimes it is called usp united states pharmacopoeia uh, okay then uh, what is uh, bangladesh uh, bangladesh has no pharmacopoeia but bangladesh uh, has formulary and bangladesh uh, sometimes follow the uh, follow the british pharmacopoeia and uh, uh, bangladesh uh, the name of formulary in bangladesh is bdnf bangladesh national formulary uh, so what is formulary formulary is an uh, is a book in which the details of the drug are written and it is practiced by nationally registered doctors and it is revised uh, two years after so what is the difference between pharmacopoeia and formulary in pharmacopoeia we use the generic name of the drug in pharmacopoeia uh, everything of the drugs are uh, uh, are exemplified or uh, details uh, details are written over there are in formulary the nationally licensed drug are there and uh, in details uh, they are only present uh, uh, pharmacopoeia can follow by the uh, all the medical professionals uh, in the world are formulary are followed by the national medical practitioners pharmacopoeia is uh, created by the pharmacologist and formulary uh, are uh, organized by the drug drug authorized body in a country or local drug administration may be uh, uh, control it pharmacopoeia is revised every five years and uh, uh, formulary is revised only after two years uh, pharmacopoeia is known by all formulary is not known by all because it is a nationally practice guideline for or na nationally practice uh, drugs are accumulated in a book okay these are the difference of pharmacopoeia and formulary and uh, 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 there is another source of information uh, there is a, uh, there is much more another information about drug uh, sources of drug the, that we can get uh, informed about drug another is textbook textbook is an important part of pharmacology and we can uh, if we go through it we can go any uh, any uh, we can know any any uh, any types of drug uh, for any diseases and uh, we know uh, and we can uh, we can know about this drug thoroughly from uh, special some textbook they are present uh, sometimes uh, it is called uh, basic and clinical pharmacology which is written by Bartam G. Kajang. Uh, the another example is clinical pharmacology which is written by Benetton Brown uh, then uh, uh, some uh, medical journal which can get information about drug and uh, examples is uh, British Medical Journal, New England Journal of Medicine, uh, the American Journal of Medicine, uh, sometimes uh, uh, sometimes uh, Pharmacol uh, is another uh, journal uh, from which you can get informed about drugs. Uh, there is uh, another uh, computer based information uh, by go through internet by using Wikipedia, Hinari. These are the important sites for uh, we can get informed about drug. Now uh, we'll discuss uh, about uh, where the drugs come from or what are the important sources of drug. Uh, there are two important sources of drug one is natural and one is uh, synthetic or laboratory source. Maximum drug are now produced by laboratory source. Why uh, this laboratory source is so important? Because uh, high proportionate or large scale number of drugs we can produce in a short period of time with a low cost and uh, that is convenient to all patient. 
and it is uh, it is cheap for the patient for that's why uh, uh, we can produce uh, many drugs from laboratory source now natural source uh, uh, it is used uh, few days ago but uh, nowadays it is not used thoroughly from natural source plant source is one kind of source that we can get drug animal source is the another source we can get drug uh, microorganism and from the minerals we can uh, get also drug uh, plant source plant source have uh, uh, several classifications uh, from alkaloids we can get drug from the glycosides we get drug from the gum and mucilage we get drug from the whales we can get drug so now the alkaloids alkaloids are the basic nitrogenous substance uh, which is insoluble in water but soluble in uh, uh, soluble in uh, in some solvents such as ether chloroform alcohol and uh, it is white crystalline substance and uh, uh, there is a uh, um, and it produces salt when uh, and uh, it produces acid when it's bind with the salt uh, this is uh, alkaloid and uh, uh, examples are atropine quinine uh, Vizarpine, these are all alkaloids. Atropine comes from Atropa belladonna tree. Uh, morphine comes from Pepperbird somniferum. And uh, the uh, Rizarpine comes from uh, Raulfia serpentina. Uh, uh, from this tree. And uh, uh, a, uh, from a plant, we can get different types of drugs. From the roots uh, of the plant, we can get drugs. From the leaves, we can get drugs. From the dried fruit, we can get drug. From the uh, from uh, fr from their uh, bark, we can get drug. The quinine comes from the cinchona bark uh, of uh, cinchona plant. So these are the examples of uh, uh, alkaloid. The main criteria of alkaloid: the alkaloids are the basic nitrogenous substance, and uh, it produce uh, it produces acid when it binds with the salt. Uh, uh, then uh, it is uh, 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 the suffix uh, that alkaloid uh, uh, alkaloid have it is ine when the drugs uh, have a the suffix uh, of ine then it is uh, mainly alkaloid uh, the some uh, examples of alkaloid are atropine rizarpine quinine quinidine uh, Digoxin, these are all alkaloid. Morphine, morphine is one kind of alkaloid. Okay, uh, these are the alkaloids. Now, glycosides. Glycosides are the uh, non nitrogenous substance uh, which uh, does not uh, produce salt when it's binded with acid. And uh, uh, alkaloids have two parts one is uh, uh, one is uh, one is called glycon and another is called a glycon or genine part but uh, uh, sometimes it is called sugar and non sugar part uh, but nowadays it is called sugar and non sugar part the sugar part is uh, part of a sugar it may be composed of glucose or galactose and this non sugar part it is called the uh, a glycon or genine part and the mechanism of action of uh, glycoside resides on these and uh, uh, it is responsible for the pharmacodynamic action of glycosides in a glycan part the sugar part is responsible for the pharmacokinetic properties physiochemical properties of glycosides uh, the two main glycosides are important in our pharmacology one is uh, cardiac glycosides which is used in the heart failure. The drugs are uh, digoxin, digitoxin, uabine. This is glycosides, and uh, another is uh, amino glycosides. Amino glycosides are gentamicin, amikacin, uh, tobramycin, kanamycin, natilmycin. These are the uh, these are the amino glycosides. Okay, now. Uh, the gums and mucilage. Mucilage is the uh, physiological product of plant and gums are the pathological product of the plant. 
what are the difference between uh, mucilage and gum mucilage produce slimy mass when it's uh, 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 when it's soluble with water but gum does not uh, produce slimy mass it is soluble in water the example of gum is gum acacia and the uh, uh, and the mucilage example is tragacanth tragacanth these are the emulsifying agent uh, when you use the gum acacia and tragacan these are the emulsifying agent so uh, this is the uh, important uh, ex uh, examples of uh, gum and mucilage and uh, mm, lastly it is very important uh, from the uh, uh, from the plant source uh, another uh, another drug is produced uh, that is well there is uh, there is two types of oil uh, in pharmacology one is uh, fixed oil and uh, another is volatile oil the clove oil winter green oil these are the uh, volatile oil and the uh, uh, peppermint oil spearmint oil these are uh, these are the fixed oil the volatile oil the clove oil uh, uh, is is used for the uh, uh, toothache winter green oil also used in toothache and uh, used as relieving of pain uh, okay uh, then the uh, animal source plant source uh, uh, it is the end of the plant source now animal source uh, from various uh, uh, animals we can get different types of drug from heart serum we can get immunoglobulin uh, from the heart serum we can get antibodies uh, uh, from the uh, fish sperm we can get protamin sulfate which is a uh, antidote for heparin poisoning uh, uh, from the uh, cod liver uh, cod liver of a fish we can get vitamin a uh, sometimes uh, from the uh, heart serum from the heart serum we can get immunoglobulins and antibodies uh, sometimes um, sometimes from the uh, um, uh, pancreas pancreas or bovine pancreas or porcine pancreas we can get insulin uh, there is another source uh, in uh, uh, we can get to drug uh, that is human source. Uh, the human source, uh, the main example of human source that is human codon gonadotropin hormone, which is released by the placenta and which is present in the uh, pregnant mother urine. This is one of the example. Uh, and sometimes the postmenopausal women uh, uh, urine we can find the human menopausal gonadotropin hormone uh, sometimes a uh, human pancreas uh, pancreas uh, from the human pancreas we can get insulin these are the important human source uh, of getting drug uh, then there is a the uh, so we can uh, uh, just to end the plant source the animal so then the microorganism from different microorganism we can get different drugs the penicillins are comes from penicillin, pen, uh, penicillium chrysogenum or penicillium mutatum. This is the fungus. From the streptomyces, uh, we can get uh, get the streptomycin drug. Uh, from the uh, bacteria of bacillus, we can get bacitracin, uh, cyclosporine. These are the examples of the microorganism. Uh, there is another uh, source of drug. Uh, from we can get different kinds of drug, and these drugs are used in. Uh, different deficiency in our body then such as iron, for, for iron deficiency in our, we, uh, we, we use iron for the thyroid disease or hypothyroidism we can uh, we can give iodine and uh, sometimes uh, vitamin D deficiency rickets or vitamin D associated rickets we can give the patient vitamin D these are the uh, mineral source of uh, mineral source of drug uh, sometimes uh, there is a calcium deficiency in postmenopausal women, so we can give calcium to them. So uh, calcium, iron, vitamins, these are the mineral sources of drug. Another important source of drug is recombinant DNA technology, which is very important. Which is very important nowadays. Many important drugs are produced by recombinant DNA technology. One is insulin, and that is growth hormone. Another one is erythropoietin. These are the important example uh, of. Uh, getting drugs from recombinant DNA technology. In recombinant DNA technology, the bacteria is used that is Escherichia coli K12 when it is non-pathogenic. 
from this bacteria we can produce uh, such type of uh, such type of insulin uh, and insulin is important uh, uh, important uh, important drug for uh, controlling diabetes but let us this insulin nowadays uh, produced from the recombinant dna technology how recombinant dna technology produce insulin uh, if we say or if we say the human pancreas also contain the pancreatic beta cell contain human insulin this human insulin gene is cut down from the uh, human pancreas and it is entered into the escherichia coli uh, plasmid when it enters into the plasmid the plasmid will uh, uh, multiply the plasmid will multiply in the escherichia coli body and this multiply of plasmid from uh, the uh, uh, from the uh, uh, from the DNA gene is cut down and uh, by lyase and uh, and uh, it is joined in the uh, in the essential coli plasmid gene uh, where we can get produced more and more insulin. So when the uh, uh, essential coli plasmid is cut down for a small portion where the uh, human uh, human uh, pancreas uh, gene or human insulin gene is introduced over there uh, uh, they will be multiplying there and uh, uh, multiply in a large manner and uh, from the uh, from the plasmid of this uh, this gene is cut down by lies and uh, we can take in the uh, human insulin gene and this human insulin gene um, uh, from the human insulin gene we can get the human insulin by purification by standardization of the drug and this insulin is used for controlling of diabetes mellitus. So uh, these are the important source and uh, um, this is all about the drug and medicine. Uh, um, how can we get informed uh, drug from different inf uh, information site and uh, uh, the sources of drug so main important sources of drug is laboratory source from which large amount of drug are produced synthetically or semi-synthetically uh, uh, in a short period of time in a huge amount and uh, which is cheap and convenient to all so uh, what is the example of laboratory source uh, the cephalosporin generation the cephalosporin generation uh, the uh, the uh, the newer drugs uh, uh, the meropenam the ibipenam all are produced synthetically from the laboratory source so this is all thank you